you, Mr. Rees-Mogg. Terry in the Basilman's first call, and you want to explore this a little bit further and talk about uncertainty. You're through to Jacob rees -Mogg. Go ahead, Terry. Morning to you. Yes, hi. Um, well, um, my, it's, it's turning into project fact, not project fear, isn't it? As they did agree to build this X-Trail in Sunderland, and they've now reversed that decision and building it in Japan, given that Japan has now got a nice new trade agreement with the EU also. So it obviously makes them weird leaving the EU, so it makes business sense to actually produce it in, in Japan, not in the UK, because business investment has gone down in the UK since this year by half a percent. The car will still, it's down the line, uh, Terry, the car will still be built, Mr Rees -Mogg. Um The car will still be built, but it will be built in Japan. But this is because demand has fallen. It's a lower level of demand, which makes a different business decision. It's based on changing business facts, not on Brexit, which is what the company itself has said. So, Terry, uh, I, I think you're going much it's further than Nissan around. itself is willing to go. Terry, uh, I'll, I'll bring you back in. Terry? But if they're looking down the road of their investment, where they're going to put their money, and they want certainty. They've got uncertainty at the moment because they don't know what they're going to be trading under. WTO rules doesn't exactly explain much because we don't really know what level of WTO we've got. We've got the worst case scenario of WTO. Well, we do, we do know what WTO rules are, actually, yes. that um, the worst case under WTO is that there would be a 10.2% tariff on uh, cars made in the United Kingdom, which is the common external tariff implemented by the European Union, which, as it happens, uh, is a lower level of tariff than the fall in the pound since we voted to leave the European Union. And it would make no difference to components because there's a specific exemption for components that are not taxed in the process of building a car. The end car is taxed. So WTA is quite clear. People know what that is. It's something they can factor into their calculations. Um, but the truth is, business is all about uncertainty. The, the uncertainty that the car companies got wrong uh, was the diesel uncertainty, that they all rushed to diesel. The German car manufacturers, particularly Volkswagen, fiddled their emissions figures to encourage diesel even further, helped by the European Union. That's the real business uncertainty in this and in the uh, whole car industry, um, coupled with increasing tax rates that were imposed a couple of years ago in the UK for new car registrations. Quick one sentence from you, Terry, then I must move on. Need, Terry? We do need certainty because if I, I run a plumbing and eating business and I, I, I invest in certainty I know what what the cost is going to be to me you know so when I work out the cost we've got a zero tariff access to the biggest single market in the planet and then we're leaving that and we're going to have costs applied so therefore if I want to invest and put money into a company and where am I going to locate it and what products I'm going to produce they're going to add a cost to it so my bottom line is just increased it's simple as that if you remove protection of the sort that has been given in particular to the car industry and to other manufacturing industries inside the protective wall, you have got, a, can I, you're going to have a change in, in, in the situation facing that industry and you, you are going to have to run it down.